Although the team has fantastic players in every position, the ship is sinking. Despite having a captain with vast experience, it seems he has lost the crew and doesn't know how to resolve it. Here's the captain. How are you feeling now? You always say that you can't start fires just because of one defeat, but now there are two defeats. Should we be patient with the team? How much patience can we have after two consecutive losses? This is not about having patience or not. What matters now is what we see on the field. And right now we see that we are lacking something. The team is not able to show a good version of itself, especially in the last two matches, and we need to fix this somehow. The concern we have at this moment is normal, and undoubtedly tonight will be very long, and we will have other long nights ahead. But this is what we need to do. Think about how to solve the problem and regain the team's solidity. A solidity that we have had for a long time and that we are currently missing, the problem is right there. We have conceded nine goals in the last three matches. And this is a too, a too much for a, a team like, uh, like ours. Our team has built its strength based on solidity. Are you finding it difficult for Vinicius and Mbappe to show their best together? Do you not think that both looking for the left side makes it complicated for you to find the best version of these two players? In today's match, the attackers had many opportunities. But what stands out is not this, at least that's what I think. Perhaps we weren't accurate enough and could have scored another goal. It's too easy for the opposing team to reach our area with attacking options. This is the main problem we need to fix now. It's another match where the team has run less than the opponent according to the statistics. Milan ran more kilometers than your team. Is this a problem of player attitude or is it physical or tactical for the team? I believe this is a characteristic of our team as last year we had the same statistical result and we still won the Champions League with this characteristic. As I said before, this is not the problem. When we don't have solidity, then we need to be more organized and work together, not just play individually. You can't say my players aren't running, but the truth is that we are currently not able to do effective collective work. In the defeat against Barcelona, you said you liked the first half. What did you like about this match? I'm focusing now on the problems we have and that we need to fix quickly because we have another match on Saturday. Obviously, defensively, we cannot continue to play like we did tonight. Would it be unfair for you, after what you have achieved at Real Madrid, and winning the Champions League title and La Liga title a few months ago, for there to be doubts about you. Do you personally believe that Real Madrid can still compete in La Liga and the Champions League? No, I'll show them. I wouldn't consider it unfair. She, um, I think it would be normal because when the team is obviously unable to show its best version, that is when the coach has to take responsibility. But I also believe that we all have to share the responsibility, including the players. This is because when we win, we win together. But when we suffer and have to fight, we have to do it together as well. And only then can we gain more strength. Why did you take Valverde off the field at half time? Valverde's wife said on social media that if she expressed what she thought about this change, her account would surely be closed. Can you explain why you took Valverde out of the match? For me, it is very complicated to comment on what people say on social media. I simply took Valverde out because I thought he was not in his best shape. He had a previous issue with his back that we thought he had recovered from because he was able to train with the team, but he was not in good physical condition, 
and I decided to change him. Do you not think that your message or your words are not reaching your players clearly? That the atmosphere in the team is no longer as healthy as in previous seasons? No, uh, the team is healthy, but, but obviously there will be many criticisms about attitude, criticisms about training, but this is also something that uh, has happened before. It repeats itself many times. As I always say, what people say, we simply have to accept. And we have to accept the reality that right now we are not doing things well, but we want to do better because otherwise it will be very difficult to reach the end of the season. Uh, I know we need to, to fix things, as I have said many times. You know, I think I mentioned it in the first match of the season. Yeah, we need to defend better because the key is there. And there may be other solutions, and I know I need to find other solutions to make this team more balanced and much more solid. Although without going crazy, making many changes. But I know there are some tactical details that can improve the situation. It is evident that your team's problem is in defense, as opponents easily reach your area. Do you think this is a problem of player attitude, or perhaps their technical characteristics? Or is it a tactical problem? We need to improve tactically because this is not a problem of individual uh, player capabilities. We need to work much more collectively. As I have always said, defensive work is about sacrifice, focus and of course collective effort. Do the players have to assume responsibility for the team's situation as well? Obviously yes, we all have to take responsibility together. And I do too. I believe that the team is united in this situation. We are all going through a difficult time and we are suffering. We deserve it. When one suffers, it brings us closer together. I hope this helps us get out of this bad moment as soon as possible. I think it's very good for the players to feel down, as down as I feel right now. But as I said before, tonight will be very long. But that's okay and I accept it. It's good for it to be a long night because this way we can all think about how to improve our situation. After losing to Barcelona, you said that in any case, Real Madrid would not be far from competing in La Liga and the Champions League. After today's result, do you still believe that the team will not be far from competing for La Liga and the Champions League? Certainly we are down and suffering right now, but, but we also have confidence that this team will improve and that we will compete in all tournaments as we have always done. Tonight, Fonseca said in Italy that playing against Italian teams is difficult because they are very defensive and that in Spain they play differently because that football is much more open. What do you think? I think Italian football is very tactically competitive. So, he, um, so what Fonseca said is true. We played very openly and that was an advantage for the opponent. Is this the most difficult moment since you returned to Real Madrid in 2021? No, uh, I don't think so. Uh, every year has difficult moments where I have to endure, I have to fight and think too. All that is quite normal. But what is not normal is that this team had a very good streak before and now it has dropped very quickly in the last matches. But this is, uh, this is part of uh, football.
Sometimes you may think that everything is fine and perfect, but then you fall. The good thing is that just as you fall, you can also get back up quickly. Fortunately, we will have the next match at our stadium, and I believe we can start to be that team we were last season.